Hello, this is Short de Vries, and in this tutorial, I'll explain you how to create a task for a SME, a subject matter expert or a key user, to record something uh, with a, a SME recorder, as we call it, or the rapid recorder. Um, the Uperform author or admin uh, opens the Uperform website, as displayed here, uh, browse to his project folder. Um, as we are now in the productivity tips folder and at the left click add task to start a task. Uh, there are three content types. However, for the SME only the Uperform document applies because it's the only one that can be recorded with the rapid recorder. You select the language and you fill in the name. I always start with the tutorial. Um, and then the file name. Um, you also have to fill in a file name later. So I usually uh, have the same file name. For the task description, uh, the task description field is usually the, the field that pops up when you start a simulation. Um, so usually we place here the objectives of the task, what the uh, uh, learner learns. Um, when clicking on the task. However, we can also use it now to send a mail to the SME. Uh, so we can paste uh, a full text in here, what does SME have to do uh, in this task. Um, we will enter the email address and for in this example I use my own address, but usually this will be the SME address or key user. It could be anyone actually with a valid email address as long as that person can access the Uperform server. And the content owner always should be someone from Uperform, from, from the author group. Um, as you can see you can also have a task owner uh, within your author group. Um, that only applies when you select other content types, but if the SME is just a SME who is not a Uperform author, you always have to select a content owner. In this case, it will be the same. Uh, I will do it just for this uh, tutorial, but usually it will be different. The next step would be to select a due date. I give the SME one, one week. And then you have to edit a number of days for the uh, content owner. So the task owner uh, has a due date of one week now and the content owner also have seven days to finish the task, uh, to look at the topic that has been recorded, to edit it with the full uh, Uperform client and publish it uh, via, via the workflow. Um, file name I filled in. So everything is filled in. However, um, it would be nice to select the appropriate template. If you use multiple templates, it's important. Um, so you can also fill in specific fields, like the content owner. That could be uh, the, the name of the SME. And you can change all these values later on in the file properties. Properties. So these are the options you can set in the file properties. What would be very nice is to create a recorder profile. And in a different topic, I will explain how to create a recorder profile. Um, and re releases we don't choose. If I save it, it is sent to the, uh, all, to the, to the SME. Now you can just click on it. Uh, find the translations. As you can see here, um, I can see if the topic has been recorded. Um, if you see this page, the topic has not been recorded yet. If the topic has been recorded and checked in, and uh, this will be replaced by the file and you can download it. You can also always uh, delete the task, resend the notification, or edit the properties later on. In the next tutorial, I will explain for the SME what he has to do. But this concludes the tutorial for the Uperform author, how to set up the task. Thank you.